Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I am back to work on this beautiful day on the glass greenhouse and hopefully today I'll get some of those glass panes in place. My automatic vent started the day closed and now it's fairly open. So it looks like it's working really good. I'm going to install my other actuator on the other side first and then I'll start on the glass. Well, that seems to be good. Here's the box of putty. It's quite heavy. There's a lot of putty in this box. So the horizontal surfaces get the 1 8 thick putty and the vertical surfaces get the quarter inch thick putty. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm putting it on. I think I'll start with the thin putty and I'll run it along the eaves rail there. I'll show you where it goes. That narrow strip runs all all the way down there so one piece all the way to the end and then the vertical pieces the thicker ones run up these rails and there's no putty across the top it just tucks under the the um, what do you call that the peak there peak beam or roof beam uh, so it just tucks under but there is a plastic piece that goes over the top edge of the glass to kind of protect it so I'll have to find some of those too here's a look at the place where the putty is going to go. So I'm just cleaning it with the uh, turpentine on the rag, getting any traces of the old putty off, cleaning out this. There's my drainage hole there, another one here. So I'm just cleaning it all out because once the glass is in, you can't get at this area here. So I want to make sure it's nice and clean. I remember when we were taking this apart, there was all kinds of leaves in here and dead bugs. And it was full of like algae and water. So these holes will stop that or prevent it. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I've, I've got to clean this all down. I think there'll be a lot of cleaning today, like both glass and all these channels where the putty goes in, just to make sure I've got a good bonding surface. You know, I don't want to do a, I want to do a good job. I don't want to do a bad job is what I'm trying to say. Might as well make your greenhouse the best it can be. I wish I had gotten a greenhouse like this like 10 years ago. It's just fantastic. Perfect for bonsai. All right, with the Varsol on the rag, I just got that surface gleaming where I'll be putting the thin putty. So that's the next step is to run a roll of putty all the way along here. So you keep the backing on it until you're ready to press the window in place. So I'll do that, I'll run it along, keeping the backing on, and then I'll just peel it off when I go to put this end window in, which will be the first pane to go in. So that's going in quite well so far. I'm just running it along the edge. I think it'll be good. That strip of putty is in place now. So next I have to do the two vertical ones that go up here. I've got my Sarissa out here in the sunshine. Uh, the sun, if we look up here, so it goes across the sky here and now it's in the shade of this pine tree, the white, northern white pine. So it just goes behind that for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. It appears over here and then I get the sun all the way till it's kind of behind that willow tree there. So it's pretty good sunny location. Definitely enough sun for bonsai, that's for sure. Looking good. I've got the first pane on the table here, but I've still got to finish cleaning it. I was just testing out that Varsol on the old putty last night. It rained again last night, by the way, and it's going to rain again tonight. So no shortage of rain. I haven't watered my trees in, I don't know, about a week. 
it just keeps raining every night. I never have to water them, which is kind of nice when you're in the middle of building. So yeah, I'll finish cleaning up this pane, getting it all the old putty off, getting it nice and clean, and then it can go up in place. I'm going to clean the glass in the greenhouse here. I think it's safer having it leaning against the upright wall here and on the gravel here. I'm doing the final cleaning now with soap and water. Hopefully getting it all clean. I'm sure there'll be lots of streaks in that. But, you know, hopefully the rain will wash it away. And the condensation on the inside will help clean it. Okay, so I just need a rag to dry it all now. I'll get a nice clean rag to do the final dry off. I think you could spend a lot of time cleaning this glass perfectly. Before I put the glass in place, I've got to put that rubber strip along the top. So I'll go get that now. Here's the strip that goes on the top, so I'll put that in place. Like that. So this top end of the glass tucks up into that roof beam, the center beam on the roof. Okay, so that is ready to go in now. You got it? Oh, it's all. Oh, that's okay. That's that's good. That's good, Jules. Oh my God. The next piece of glass is a shorter one, so I've got to get up there and clean that channel out. I didn't do that, and that one I'll do that at the same time. Then I can get the two shorter ones in here, and that'll be like. 60% of the roof done on this side. Cool. I'm putting the putty up on the smaller window frames now. Hey, Jules. I've got my two short panes of glass here and I'm just working on cleaning them and I'll get them up. So I'll get the top of the glass. Lift her up now. Okay. So I've said that as soon as possible? No, 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 no. Okay, now. So I'm gonna butt it up against the top here. Okay. You have to make sure it's centered. Is it centered on the putty? Butter mm, it. No, we're gonna do it more right, I think. Okay, you center it. I get it centered. It might be okay. Okay, now push up as much as you can. No, 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 not that far. Okay. It's got a... Is your, is, will your edge drop down and still inside, or...? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think... I think we're ready. Yeah? Yeah, drop her down. Look okay? I think so. It's kind of a bit more down than this, just because it's warm, but... It's okay. I think it's on the party, though. It's okay. Let's have a look. Okay, is it? I reckon. Yeah, that looks good. That was easier than the first one. Here's a look at the greenhouse now. It's got three panes of glass in, so yeah, these ones went quite well, dropping them down on the putty. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Two more to go, so I'll have to clean those glass. It takes a long time to clean the glass panels. They're uh, covered in algae so I, and the putty. So I've got to clean it with the Varsol to get the putty off and then with the soap and water to get all the algae off. Then I have to kind of rinse it all and do a final dry. So it takes about, I don't know, about half an hour to do each pane of glass. So there's a lot of time that it will be taken to do all the glass for the whole greenhouse. A lot of cleaning, but uh, yeah, I think we've got a fairly good technique for getting the panels in now. So I think the last two will go quite smoothly, I hope. 
I've got two more of the large panes of glass cleaned here. So I'm just letting them dry. Then I'll have to get my putty up on these beams. And I'll be ready to put these end panels in and I hope this goes better than the first panel. I think it will. As long as we push it up, get it in position and then lower it down, I think it'll be fine. Okay, I think we're ready. So you can feed it up to me. Watch you don't bang it against the thing. And the honor. Okay, lift it up nice and high. I'll get this. What's that? That's how you wear it. Okay, we gotta lift her up so we're up in the air. Off of the root putty. hard now. Push her up hard. And is it centered, do you think? Um, well, that's pretty centered. Okay. Let's set her down. You got her? Down. That's good. Good? Whew. That one went pretty good, didn't it? Well, I've got one whole side of the roof glassed in now. That's exciting. <laughs> Lots of panels to go, but that's a good start. And we've got the technique down pretty good. It's, they're going in really easily. There's a view of the glass roof with the sky reflecting in it. Really cool, I love it. Yeah, so I'll have to work on the other side. Ah, maybe tonight I'll get some more done, but I think it's time for supper. Well, I had supper and <laughs> When I came back out, it was starting to get dark already. So I started cleaning up all the tools. It's uh, supposed to rain tonight, so I also brought all the succulents into the greenhouse. So I've still got a bit more cleanup work to go. And I think that's going to be it for tonight. So I was really happy with the progress today, getting half the roof up. That's awesome. Getting the techniques down pat, so it's, going to make the other side a lot easier. But yeah, it's really nice getting some glass in the glass greenhouse. I'll try and squeeze some updates in tonight before it gets too dark outside, so here we go. On my ficus microcarpa that I grew from a seed, it's starting to get some nice hanging branches. You can see this one hanging off here. And I think there'll be cool branches as they thicken up and develop in the future. They'll be kind of hanging down and really, really look cool, I hope. Um, it was kind of unexpected to get some of these hanging branches, but I'm glad they came because I think it's going to give this tree a really unique look. I'm starting to get some fall colors on the red maples here. So that's kind of cool. There's a few trees that are getting fall colors. The Manitoba maples here, the green's kind of fading away to yellow now. So they, they turn yellow in autumn. The American elms here are starting to get some yellow leaves on them. My native white pine, the Pinus strobus here, the old needles are going yellow, so they'll be falling off soon. In my bog forest here, I'm starting to get a few fall colors on the larches. Generally not, like most of them are fairly green still, but they're just starting, I think. So maybe in a couple more weeks, they'll be more of a yellow color. My nightshade vine, is getting some colorful berries on it. If you look them back here, got orange, red, and green. Pretty cool. My pink pixie bougainvillea here is getting more and more flowers. You can see them starting to form on some of the other branch tips. So, yeah, looking pretty colorful right now. Cool to see. My yellow hibiscus has a nice flower out today. And one from yesterday that's just fading away and there's lots more lots more to come my birch tree here getting some nice fall colors on it exciting to see my mimosa here the leaves are starting to fade on it so I usually wait until it drops its leaves and then I bring it in for the winter down into the basement where it stays cool and then in spring 
it leaves out again. I've got some cool mushrooms down here by my black willow. Really cool. <laughs> Interesting. I think this will be a nice tree someday. I've just got to, you know, do some work on it in spring, get it more developed. And I think it'll be a pretty cool tree. The vent on this side of the greenhouse is almost closed. The new one that I put on today is still open a fair amount, so I may have to adjust that so it kind of closes at this temperature. It's starting to get dark out now. So that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. Thank you.